the way, let's move on to the next fantastic player on the Pelican Post Game Report preview breakdown is Mr. Herb Jones. That's right, Herb Jones. Not on Herb. Straight Jacket Jones is in the building. 78 games. He started nine and a half. DC almost four rebounds per contest. Man, but what he did on the court, guarding all of the toughest assignments, LeBron James, all of them, Herb Jones proved himself, man. This year is one of the up-and-coming best young players, defensively speaking. He's developing his offensive game as well. Future is bright for one Herb Jones. Man, Herb Jones, cute. I I don't know if I'm tripping because I say this and I know a few of my partners that I talk to sometimes, they don't believe it. They, oh, you, you crazy. But name me a rookie that you've seen that was better or equal defensively to Herb Jones in the rookie year other than Kawhi Leonard. It's the only guy I could think of. Maybe Dennis Rodman, but I wasn't I, I wasn't very old when Dennis Rodman was playing in his rookie year, so I haven't seen that with my own eyes. Only highlights. But I mean, yeah, ain't yeah. a better rookie defensively. I I don't I don't think I've seen it, which yeah. is why I, I see everybody's pissed that he didn't make an All NBA defensive team, right? Or the first team rookie team should have made both. Honestly, the rookie team, I understand the Jalen Green thing because he scores points, whatever. But there's no excuse for him to not be on at least the second uh, all defensive team. That was that was straight bullshit. This dude, man. I mean, at a game where he blocked three three pointers. Who does that? It's, it's almost a rare sight to see a guy get a three pointer blocked. You know, in the game, let alone somebody does it like three times. You know, you watch the dude who got put into the starting lineup. There was no hope for this team, man. None. And what he did defensively for people who didn't watch all season, I think goes underlooked, you know, overlooked, out of looked. <laughs> they wasn't in a looking at all. But Herb Jones was a huge part of the turnaround, and we would not have made the playoffs without him. These are facts. You know, a uh, guy that went out there, handled his business, all you saw was him get better and better every game. And it was so many plays he made. I understand he's 23, but he still was a rookie. And it was like, God damn, is this is dude a rookie. Like, how do you know to do that? Like, how do you... So many times, um, even offensively, you know, when things were going bad for the Pels, in the clutch, you saw Herb Jones making plays, man, and not messing up. He ain't really, you know, a, a guy we lean on offensively, but I seen him hit some big-time buckets, man, and score when we needed him. This guy's a baller. He's a hell of a defender, one of the best defenders in the league, had the toughest assignments every night. Excelled at an excellent level, gained the respect of all of his peers. I bet you if we had the, the peers vote on the defensive team instead of some of these dumbass uh, analysts or whoever the hell was voting, Herb Jones would have been in there, man. Because there, there ain't a night that Herb Jones showed up on that court, man, and they didn't have a guy that didn't want his ass guarding him. I could tell you that. <laughs> and all he did was show up and produce night after night after night. I rarely remember Herb having like a game where you just say he had like a horrible game. You know, we, if you're looking at what he did defensively, obviously he had some bad offensive outings. But defensively, man, he, he was the heart and soul of our defense. You know, uh, we now have a defensive mentality, top 10 defense. And a lot of that is due to Herb Jones, man, being the, the safety net. And rescuing a lot of guys when mistakes happen, bro. But I forgot what, what you remember what Willie Green called him. Q said, "No, he said he he put out fires." <laughs> that what Willie Green said about Herb Jones. He puts out fires, man. When the fires show up, Herb Jones show up with that goddamn extinguisher, <laughs> put that shit out, man. 
he ain't even got time to put the five man suit on, bro. He just showed with a damn fire extinguisher, put that shit right out before it even get big, you know. So, shout out to him, man. This is probably one of the players I was most impressed with this year, most surprised by because I knew he was gonna be good. I liked him when we drafted him. I was like, man, he's gonna make a huge impact in the playoffs. But I never imagined that Herb Jones would have grew into the Pelicans legend that he is now. That's right, family. I'm calling him a legend already. You know, I know I'm sounding like a homer tonight. I'm getting everybody they praise, man. I'm so proud of this team. But Herb Jones, I think on any team in the NBA, man, they would definitely love to have them. And I'm sure we got some trade calls about his ass last year. Too late. <laughs> uh, he belonged to us in the under contracts of the Pelicans. Future is bright. Another he one. Only, he, now his contract, he only got a two year deal. We're going to have to pay her, man. Her okay. was small. He said, well, right, like two years. <laughs> rightfully so. I mean, you look at it here, it is right here. You know, only 2022 uh, 23 year, 1.7. Then in 23 24, 1.8 right here for the club option. And then you see the qualifying offer for 2024 25 season. Then he's restricted in 24. So, yeah. I mean, so there you go. So the Pelicans. You know, they have an opportunity and they definitely gonna uh re up and they're gonna pay Herb Jones, no doubt about it. Future her, 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 her should be a her should be a lifer, man. And I hate throwing that out. I said about Willie, but even more so than Willie, man, Herb should retire a Pelican. No doubt. Perfect. Perfect.